Hello, I'm Mr Barton and welcome to a video all about the Diagnostic Questions GCSE Maths Schema Work. In this particular video I'm going to give you a very quick overview about the schema work and I'm going to be honest, I'm going to try and convince you why we think at Diagnostic Questions HQ it's absolutely brilliant and hopefully by the end of this video you will too. I'm also going to give you a little sneak preview of some of the delightful questions that have been provided by AQA, Edexcel and OCR just for our scheme of work. Okay, so if you're ready, let's go for it. Uh, the first thing to say is that it's completely bespoke. You can take your existing scheme of work for Year 10 and Year 11, and even Year 9 if you want, and you can map it to our AQA, Edexcel and OCR schemes, making it just right for you. You choose the order you want to teach the topics and you choose how long you want to spend on them. You can even change your revision periods, your holidays, all that kind of stuff as well. And once it's set up, and I cannot emphasize this enough, you don't have to do a single thing. It'll take you a bit of time to get it set up originally, but then it just runs it itself automatically. Here's a little overview of our scheme. So you'll see that it's made up of uh, lots of different colors here. Those colors represent different topic units. So we've got a oh, flipping out March is looking delightful here. We've got some CERDs, probability, standard form and measures. And each of those dots represents quizzes that your students will automatically be set. So this is very, very important. Every topic unit, your students get set three quizzes. They get a baseline quiz, which is three days before the start of the teaching unit. That's going to allow you to get an understanding of their baseline knowledge going into the topic. Then they get set a progress quiz immediately at the end of the teaching unit. That's going to give you a sense of how far they've come in those two weeks or one week that they've been learning the topic. But here's my favorite one. They get set an understanding quiz three weeks after the teaching unit has, uh, has finished. And this is based on research into um, spacing and optimal learning. Three weeks is identified as a perfect time to retest because it allows you to distinguish between memory and mimicry, which may have been causing some of the success that students have got in the progress test versus real depth of understanding. So that'll be a perfect, give you a perfect sense of how far they've come. And using our powerful and free data analytics, you can see which of the concepts the students have really, really understood and which misconceptions still linger, allowing you to adapt your teaching accordingly. So that's the scheme of work and throughout this guide, um, this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to get it set up and answer all your common questions. But before then, a little treat. What about a sneak preview of some of the questions that comprise it? Because honestly, I'm completely biased, but I think these are amazing. So number ones, here's one from AQA. And I'm just going to rattle through these. Obviously, you can come back to them at your own time. A delightful number one from Edexcel. I love those questions. Always used to be at the start of the uh, higher non-calculator non paper. Look at that from OCR, CERD alert, straight in there. Can you figure out how to do that one? What about some algebra questions? Flipping heck, AQA, new specification there. Exponential graphs, which sketch does it match? New spec from Edexcel, some quadratic inequalities there with set notation. OCR, delightful question, honing in. Where can you find, where's the first mistake happen there? Some shape and space. New spec from AQA, what about that? Invariance, do your students know that? What better way to find out than to set them up on the schema work? Edexcel, new spec as well, speed time graph, estimations for distance travel, do your students know how to do that? OCR, some nice visual learning here with plans and elevations, I'm useless at that. And finally, some data and statistics. Venn diagram, new specification, can your students interpret and understand that? Edexcel, one of my favorite questions here. Tree diagrams, where would three sevenths go to make that correct? And finally from OCR, honing right in on the key skills with some cumulative frequency. So there you go. If you are interested in this schema work, and hopefully you are, keep watching this series of videos. It'll show you how to get everything set up. And if you run into trouble, or if you want us to upload your classes for you, your students can sign up themselves, but if you want to upload everything all in bulk, you'll see floating around in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen a little blue icon that looks like that. Give that a click, it opens up a chat window, and one of our dedicated team will be happy to help you in any way we can. So stay tuned for the rest of the videos in this series. Take care of yourselves, and bye for now.